It's all over, folks. The people that have perpetrated their foul contracts upon you by making you believe that you are the holders of the death pledge, the debts and the sins and the loans have not been forgiven. They were given an opportunity to come forth and explain themselves wholeheartedly to every part of our hemisphere so they are not just simply speaking to one part of our hemisphere like the subconscious mind or the unconscious mind. They have to tell the truth and they fail to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The truth is always the same, ladies and gentlemen. It is the facts that needs to be conveyed. For those people that are not familiar with these terms, I will put these terms in in the comments box. Like, for example, what does judiciary notice mean? It means that the facts are now entered into the courtroom. If the facts could never enter a courtroom on a geometric level playing field, there was never any case to answer. For those poor misfortunate people, the individuals that have been reaped, harvested by these systems known as courts, as well as the churches, as well as the religious people out there. I'm now going to tell you the mechanism of how this happens. First of all, in order for any case to be opened, you need an informant. Take, for example, the inland revenue. When you fill out one of their forms voluntarily, what you are doing is informing on yourself. And when you hire a accountant or a chartered accountant, they are acting as informant. Can you imagine this? You pay them and then they inform upon you to make such a formation. And look up the words, ladies and gentlemen, look up that word. It means to inform a person that is performing a crime. That's what an informant is. Such foul practices is null and void. I have given every opportunity for the people that perpetrated such foul contracts, such foul agreements that would keep mankind enslaved. I've given them every opportunity to speak as congruently as they possibly can. So every man and woman on this planet knows what is happening. Since you have vacated even that position, the only language on this planet now that stands is the correct sentence structure, passe, syntax, grammar, communications flag. And here it stands. And this flag, once again, is still on the geometric level playing field, touching the earth, touching the sky and the oceans upon it as well. Religious people, ladies and gentlemen, since we are in a period of faith commonly known as Lent, I am now going to explain to the religious people of the world that have no faith because religion, just like a receding airline or a receding gum, means no. When words like religion are used, it is there to describe people that have no faith. Religion means, quite literally, no people, no legion. For those religious people out there that have introduced some foul practice on this planet, like the mutilation of newborn babies, the male newborn babies. I am now telling every religious organization on this planet that whatever foul means that you have introduced such practices, you are now to instruct people. You are now to tell them the difference between faith. You are to reverse these types of mutilations and you will start this now. Any lack on your part, any time lapse on your part in what I have said and there will be no forgiveness. And you know folks, people that have no forgiveness can never enter any pledge. They can never enter any contract with any agreement. They have no standing. And for the people that have faith, you must be able to see the facts for the facts. You must, in your whole of your heart, know that such practices are not acceptable. You know that the baby is in agony. When you look upon that baby's face and you are doing what you are doing to that baby, the baby thinks that you are mutilating and you are smiling and laughing and joking at the agony of this baby. I am informing you, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I possibly can. You have faith. 
you believe in the one creator and that one creator made his creation perfect. You know what creation is, men and women, that would ask you to tear away at the fabric of creation is reversing that very process and that has no forgiveness. In time-honored fashion, we have what is known as the misprision rule. The misprision rule means that when you have been educated, when you are in knowledge of a particular fraud or a crime that has taken place, you as an honor-bound citizen, you have to tell the police, the peacekeeping officers, you have to do something about stopping and correcting this fraud, this criminality. And since I have educated you, you have been walked into the misprision rule. And that misprision rule stands true until you have set the record straight, until you have stopped and correct every single individual out there that's listening to this. And every individual that is part of mankind has been educated. Every person that has schooling is now being informed as what that is. And if you do not stop and correct, you have now participated in the crime. I had the privilege to meet David Wayne Miller. In my meeting with him, we discussed many subjects. One of them is also the people that hurt him. It is said that the cunning warrior does not attack the mind or the body, but the heart. Insofar as a warrior is a warring faction and all wars are open declaration, the Navy, the Air Force, the Army is now free to take you out. Those individuals that hurt him, you have not been forgiven and you will answer to what you have done. And of course, that's already on the public record. On a personal note, I had the pleasure and still have the pleasure of teaching thousands of people. It now stands at several million people, directly, indirectly. Directly, it's at thousands, and I'm so very proud of it. And in those moments, I have picked up some infiltrators, those people that would disturb this process, thwart this process, so mankind does not benefit and become the beneficiary of this knowledge. For those people, Forgiveness is not given because you have not asked for forgiveness. And for the thousands of people that I have taught, only a few were bad eggs. Only a few were thieves. Only a few stole and kept on stealing. And I kept on forgiving. Why? Because I did not know any better. And David did not know any better until he realized what was going on. And his instructions to me were very clear. Stop the world of fiction. Stop the world of lies. So nobody, not nobody, can be disadvantaged and people cannot be programmed into constantly sacrificing themselves. And I released some of their names on the name and shame, the video of which, the link of which, is in the comments box. You are told to look at it because you need to look out for these people. These people have spent their times infiltrating, stealing, stealing the works that you have done, like the corporations, like the governments. They are no different from these individuals that practice such foul means because they cannot produce anything themselves. They have no creativity. For the people and the groups that have manipulated me, into the position that I am at the moment. For that, I thank you. Just as a surgeon that would manipulate your broken bones into place, I understand what you have done for me and I wholeheartedly thank you for it. For the individuals that make false claims, for those people that bear false witnesses, let me give you the universal principles. He who makes the statement must qualify his statement with evidence and proof. He who makes an accusation must show evidence for their accusation, otherwise it's called slander. For he who makes a claim must show proof of the claim. Without these things there is no claim. It is unfortunate that so many of the things that I am saying are in their negative state of condition. 
the no-nos, the don'ts, and so on and so forth. But most people of the planet are not aware of what a positive contract is or what a positive performance is. So I am doing my best in the words that you speak to communicate with you and to be congruent as possible. I would love to give this to you in a positive performance, but of course it will just wash over you, just as the corona effect is washing over you. One of my students sent me a Netflix link where they talk about the coronavirus in China, and it's a soap opera that is made in 2018. Then, of course, you have Bill Gates Foundation that talks about the scenario, what will happen when the coronavirus takes over the world, what the economic effects will be, and it is an economic effect. The links of which are at the comments box. And you can see these things. They were predicted and they were rolled out well before you even heard of the word corona. To further your education on what the 90-day rule is, do you remember when the Chad elections took place and they said we was unsure how much votes there are and they kept on counting those votes for 90 days. They were waiting. They were waiting for the United States Corporation to come into existence because after 90 days it goes into law. Do you remember before the times of geoengineering by aeroplanes, what you call chemtrails? They banned flights over land and they waited 90 days. And after 90 days, those aeroplanes left trails of smoke, what they call aerosol, and they never diminished. They just grew in length, height and depth. These laws come into effect after 90 days. Do you remember when Parliament or the Senate used to pass a law? They had to wait. They had to wait 90 days before it went into law. But of course, when they took up that corporate instrument known as a vote, what happened? And since a corporate instrument can make laws and break laws any times they want, what's known as bylaws, they can get away with anything that they think they can, but not anymore. Forgiveness has not been extended. The difference between electing and voting is the difference between the electoral college that elect your so-called presidents for you to now vote as a corporate instrument. Hoodwinked, ladies and gentlemen, hoodwinked and hoodwinked. Such foul practices vacate their position. So many of you out there know about the all capitals name. You know when your name is written in all capitals, that's called the all caps name. That means you have been decapitated, you have lost your head. That's what the word capital means. It doesn't mean money. It means to use your head. And since they are so greedy, I now have physical evidence of their fraud. And since I'm a planet potentiary judge and a chief federal postal court judge, it's my duty to stop and correct. Listen very carefully. I'm about to tell you how the banking and the treasury work hand in hand. When you, as an ordinary man and woman, go into a bank thinking that you are asking for the loan or a mortgage, you are actually giving them permission by autographing that name or putting a signature on it for the bank to act as the middleman to go into the treasury and to take out real money, what they call creator's money, God's money, gold and so on and so forth, and put that money into their banking system. And there they will fractionalize it. They will fractionalize it and then they will give you that fractionalized money into your bank account as a fraction account. And before three days is over, they will take that actual real money that is backed by gold and they will put it back into the treasury. Now they have washed their hands of that money and they have given you fiction money. And since they have washed their hands of that money, the real money that you think you are getting to buy your house or a car or a loan or a student loan. That money has already been given back to the treasury. Since it's been given back to the treasury already, it doesn't exist. The contract is null and void. Since most of them have not signed the document itself, they have no binding agreement with you. Now, the bit that confuses most people 
is why would they do such a thing? Well, the treasury is made up of men and women that have real gold and silver. Since the treasury is in possession of real money, they can lend out real money and not fractionalize it. But they give it to the bank and the bank fractionalize it. However, the bank cannot do such things unless it has a contract with the treasury itself. So the treasuries of this world, for those things that you have perpetrated on mankind, the real money that you have post of lent out is not there. The citizens of this world, this planet, this earth, make it very clear you are not forgiven. And the gold, the treasury, is the property of the people itself because they are the grantors. It is a violation of the volition of one's thinking to be hoodwinked. And we have physical evidence, the physical evidence of the logos that are in the letters, the templates that are on the Wikipedia, on the internet, and so on and so forth. You folks have no language claim. You have vacated all language claim. And since language and grammar is what controls contracts, you have no contract. The only correct contracts on this planet is the correct sentence structure, passe, syntax, grammar. A language that can be read left to right, right to left, jumbled up, and it still will say